Hello, it's I, Skylar, and today I'm going to be proclaiming the awesomeness of AirDrop. I'm going to be doing this by sharing all of these files to my other device. So if I grab this row, I take them and I share them, like so. I will now send them over to the other device. We have the notification, we'll switch off with our other device now, and we will accept on this device, like so. And now we're going to start downloading the videos from the other device. Now this is a video just me saying how awesome AirDrop is and a little bit explaining how it works. Now I have another video which explains how to use AirDrop in the top right hand corner. This video will talk a little bit more about what AirDrop is and how it functions. So a couple of things AirDrop does is it basically sends a Bluetooth signal to another device telling it to connect to its Wi-Fi network that it uses to transfer data. And it's pretty quick to transfer data like this. It goes straight from one device to the other device. And it's pretty incredible. As you can see, we're already quarter done transferring these 11 videos, which are pretty long. And it's pretty amazing the way it does this pretty fast. And it can be very useful for many different things. It can be used as like a power user type thing of sending long videos over to another device quickly, which is how I tend to use it. But I also use it sometimes for just sending pictures to another device easy. Instead of texting it or emailing it, you can just do it that way by airdropping it to it. And it's also supposedly more secure by the way it encrypts it without going through like a server or anything. It goes directly from device to device. So it's also apparently really secure. It's fast. It's easy. But a lot of people don't know about it or how to use it, which is what... I think Apple's problem is with a lot of their features is that they don't make it aware enough that they exist. Now they seem to be getting better that now by adding splash screens when you load up newer applications that explain how the new features work. Like in iMessage they've done, in all their stock apps they seem to do this a lot. But they don't do it really at all with AirDrop. In fact, we're getting so close to this being done. And we can see, I mean, it's just how fast it's going. It's three quarters done now. It's just amazing the way that it can do this. I mean, so many videos. As I've been just talking, explaining AirDrop, we've already AirDropped almost all of these videos, which, I mean, for me, I can AirDrop one of my videos that I would edit in five seconds, maybe, which is amazing because I used to use other things like Dropbox and Google Drive, and you have to upload and download the file, and that takes so long. So if you are having a problem like this where you have to upload or download files, you can just airdrop them. In fact, if you have a Mac, you can airdrop to your Mac, which is pretty easy and simple. Again, big file sizes. I haven't found a max file size limit yet. And there we are. We're done. That did, it only took like three minutes to airdrop all of these videos over. And now there they are. All of those many, many videos there. That's just incredible how fast it does that. I'm Ascar. Thanks for watching. Bye.